This is how I charge my ESR750 EX lithium ion battery with 1860 cells, 32 amps. So I have the iCharger 3010B and the one power supply, Dell power supply, and you can see here it's 12 volts, 57.3 amp hours. And if you put two of them in series, you can actually get uh, up to 1400 watts and this charger only needs 1000 watts so you can charge up to 30 amps continuously you can do it it's not good for the batteries uh, it's uh, recommended to charge at 0.5 C rating so 32 amps 16 amps is the best uh, the ideal charge but if you need to go fast you know to charge faster you can go up to 30 amps and charge this battery in 1 hour so let's plug it in quickly Is that the charger? So this is what I do. I put the charger here and I connect the balance leads. I have on one hand. Right, so connect the balance leads and here it goes on the side. Connect. It's all. It's all in. Let's read the screen. So, usually you charge to 4.2 per cell, so it's uh, 4.20. Now it shows 4.10. I put a custom setting to charge up to 4.10. This actually uh, reduces stress from the plating the cells. So if you charge to 4.2, you get about 700, 800 cells, 800 cycles from the cells. But if you charge to 4.1 or 4.05, you get about uh, 2,000 cycles. So you gain, and that's what Tesla recommends. If you charge less, you, that's how they actually achieved uh, that eight year warranty on, on the batteries. So if you remove the fourth cycle of plating, the fourth stage of discharging, uh, they call it tapping or, you know, like they compare it with the, um, uh, with, with let's say uh, the water flow, when you have the bucket full, right? You run drop by drop so you can fill that, that uh, small gap and not overflow uh, um, the, the, the bucket. So anyway, I usually this is what I do you go you want to go 4.2 so we can go to lithium ion which is 4.2 and let's put uh, I usually go 10 amps um, 10 amps it's fast enough we can hold and it's gonna go to Yep, 10 amps, right? And you hold. And now it's charging. If you want to see each cell individually, you have the voltage per cell, seven cells. And go back. If you want to see the balance, the, the chemistry, uh, the speed the amount of current was pulled into the battery and the time elapsed and right now it's 28.86 volts um, current uh, current uh, charge so this is how I do it and it's much faster it's much better than uh, than, than the lipo the batteries you get from the GoPad and the stock charger which is 3.5 or 3 amps an hour so if you have at 32 amp will get you at least 7, 8, if not 9 hours to charge the pack. At the 10 amp rate, I can get it in a little bit over 3 hours. If I go 16 amps, I'll get it done in 2 hours. And uh, if the battery is depleted completely, if not, it will be much faster. So this is how I do it and uh, I strongly believe this is much better. And from the past experience, from having different other go pads and mountain boards and skateboards, electric skateboards, 
uh, I realize it's just it's just much better. Uh, as a comparison, the stock uh, charger, if you uh, read the warning section, it says that uh, if you finish the charging process, allow up to 30 minutes for the BMS to balance the cells. You don't have this issue here. You just plug it in, charge it, unplug it, and you're good to go. So here's how I charge.